Hey everybody, uh, let's take a look at BinView. BinView is BinMaster's remote data monitoring website that allows us to connect any of our sensors that we sell uh, to the BinView dashboard and display the data on any device that you want to display it on, whether that's a, a computer, uh, a tablet, or a smart cell phone. Um, and so I'm just going to show you the overall features right now and uh, we'll do some other videos that show you further detailed features uh, later on. Um, so when you first come to uh, mybinview.com you'll see a login screen. Uh, you type in your username and password. And then, depending on what kind of account you have, you'll be able to um, select which um, location you want to view or what account you want to view. I won't go into the details right now of how, of how the accounts are broken down, um, but um, what I'll do is I'll just kind of show you what it looks like inside of BinView and what data you can see. So once we pick our account, we come in and you'll see the quick overview screen that you see right now um, and it's showing currently the three silos that we have at this location uh, what their percent full level is and at what status they're at they're normal in this case all three of them want a little bit more detail about the silo you can go ahead and click on it gives you a little bit more detail about the percentage full uh, the materials and pounds the percent full uh, this one happens to use a battery power gateway and it's giving the output of the of the, of the battery uh, at that gateway. Um, you can go ahead and hit right from this screen you can go to the history which is takes you to the reports tab so I'll just click on that and you'll see I've came over to the reports tab and you can see the history uh, within this tank for the past oh, it looks like um, about a week now. Uh, and it's quickly and easily changeable so if I want to see the last 30 days I click on that hit generate report and then you'll see the readings for the last 30 days I could change the tank here as well I was on silo 1 I can go silo 3 again percent full last 30 days and hit generate and now I'm going to see the data for silo 3 for the last 30 days and here you can see it's getting a really good reading uh, the tanks being filled and then emptied, filled, emptied. You can see a great cycling uh, throughout the tank. If we go back to the tank page, uh, something you might uh, find useful. Uh, this was the main view here, but if you go to the quick view, what it will show is all the uh, all the tanks that you have at a current location and their current status, uh, in this case 52% full, 74% full, 68% full. You just give you an overall view of all the tanks that you have at a current location and then you can come over here to the full view uh, drill down to any of the tanks and get any of the information you want. Going back to the reports real quick um, again you can get a chart, you can get a table uh, of the current readings or of the history um, again you can choose the location if you have multiple locations that uh, your account has you can look at those you can look at with any of the tanks within that location um, what type of reading, well, again, whether you want to look at the material percent full, uh, start date and end date, or you can just quickly click on, you know, last three months, last 30 days, click generate, and then you'll see the output of, the, of that uh, particular tank or silo. It's quite easy to go back and forth from the different tanks, the different silos. Here you can see a 30 day view for this one. Uh, you can export these and you'll get a little PDF of that history here and you'll get to see and I'll print out of of the history of that tank as a quick overview I think that uh, gives you an idea of what you can and can't do with BenView and uh, should you guys have any questions go ahead and give us a call and we'll try to help you out as much as we can thanks